Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can make a basic and very simple web browser in Visual Basic. I am also you can also use Visual Studio for this, and um, it doesn't take much time. Read simple, all of that. If you want to make a basic one, uh, I'm also going to make a video on that really soon. Okay, so you're probably a beginner to Visual Basic since you're watching this video. So we're just going to click New Project over here in uh, either File, New Project, Hotkey, Control N, or this little icon over here. Now we're just going to take a Windows Forms application. Remember to click it, and we're just this is going to be the name of your browser or yeah your browser. So we're just going to call this. Uh, I'm just going to call this YouTube Dash tutorial browser now you will have come into visual basic and you will have your little form one over here now just drag it out to a size one now I like to have it just here uh, right now so here in the text where it says form one not under name but for text we're just saying YouTube browser and uh, you can go around and have some fun with the size change the icon you don't need an ICO file for this but you can change the icon with it <coughs> excuse me and uh, now we're going to double click button three times one two one two one two we're going to scroll down and we're going to take text box text box text box here text box double click it and now we'll have a text box and three buttons. The first button we'll use over here. With the second button, we'll set it over here. This third one over here. <coughs> we're gonna take our text box and just make it a bit bigger. Okay, so basically what these are going to be are back, forward, go, uh, or search, or whatever you want to call it, and the text box where you can type in the browser. And uh, here we could just or the URL. So we're just going to click on button one, and we're just going to call this go exclamation point. Now button three, we want it to be forward, and uh, this one we want it to be back. Now that you have that, we are just going to add some coding because this is not enough. But first, we're going to scroll, uh, go into our tool toolbox, and we're just going to take web browser. Now release, and here is the web browser part. So we're just going to put this over here, and uh, make sure it doesn't come in contact with the buttons, because then the button will overshadow some of the web page you're trying to view. So this is perfect, and we're just going to click go, double click it, and you'll be brought to the coding part. Now we're just going to type in web browser. The code will be in the description. Web browser one dot na dot navigate uh, dot navigate open parenthesis uh, text box one dot text. This was one dot text and close parenthesis. This is not like action script where you need a, a semicolon at the end or something. We just need this little line of code and this is actually enough. This this does basically web browser 1, the web browser will navigate uh, to what's written in the text box 1, uh, the text written in text box 1. So this is actually really simple code. Now back is even more simple and same goes for forward. We're going to type in web browser Web browser one dot go was this forward this was back to so go back now we're just going to click on forward and web browser one dot go forward and this is actually it and let's uh, open parenthesis closing parenthesis I don't know why we have it but it's best it works I know it works so now that we have our web browser created first you want to check out if it works so we're clicking this debugging start debugging thing now we'll start in debugging mode and you'll have a window popping up it's going to look 
uh, as you made it look, and let's say back, forward, text box, and go. Now it will be the size you set it to, and it will say YouTube browser or whatever you set it to, and uh, here it will have some white space. And we're just going to type in www.google.com and go. The enter key does not work. You have to set that to it uh, yourself. I haven't done that yet. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, we're just going to type in here YouTube and Google search. And here we are. So now we're just going to check out if back works. It does. Forward. It does, and it also accepts cookies. So uh, it remembers the site you just really visited the in a short period of time, and it also remembers if you sign in and out. It's not the perfect web browser, but this is just a really basic one. If you wanna, um, when you publish it, you know, first we're going to, I'm going to show you how I publish it. You want to go and build and publish your web browser. Now put in a lot of settings and just click finish. Now click my project. This will come up with the, some other things, uh, the icon you want, uh, all those different things you can uh, w when you publish it. And you can just save your project so you can open this very thing each time. And uh, yes, this is basically how you create a really simple web browser. I'm also going to make an advanced one with containing home, add tab, remove tab, all those things you want, refresh, um, you'll also have a menu strip or file, edit, view, all those things up here. And that you, if you subscribe to my videos, it will help me so much, but not only that, um, you'll also, when you, uh, when you go to your youtube.com and you're logged in, you'll see the people you subscribe to, so you'll see, uh, for example, FF Comp help just uploaded uh, make an advanced web browser so you can actually get notified by that and yes this is just a really cool web browser you just created in Visual Basic isn't that cool your own program well this is just fun you can go and tell your friends well thank you very much for watching guys this was Comp help.